Hello, how are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Leo, welcome to your April reading, monthly reading, Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Let's see, loves, how this month is treating you, how the energies are flowing for you, and what are those messages needs to be heard by you at this time in this month? If you, Leo, are inclined to see this video by the title or feel drawn to see this video by any means, you do have a strong message or you have more messages in here to hear and see. Let's see, love. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Take what mostly connects, resonates, speaks to you and leave what does not let's not be judging is a general reading and i want to say thank you for all of you who come at this time for this reading also this month of april will resume the personal readings so if you want to purchase a personal reading down below is the information and Leo, we did took a month off from that. And I know many of you ask me when I will start doing them again. And April is the month. Let's love what we have for you and how the energy flows for the Leos. We have regeneration loves. There's something here changes. It's like um, sometimes regeneration is like the sun card and sometimes the regeneration is like a tower moment. Something here needs to go or is gone already and feels like I don't feel yet like myself but I'm still going even I don't really know how I am perfectly doing it's quite confused but at the same time it's a relief energy underneath we do have fork in the road where to go what direction should I take what's my best shot for me very strong speaks about if I am keep moving, it's for my own stability or not. And that might be loves. For some of you Leos, you, you let go a person and you are in that phase like I'm, I'm not sure how I should feel at this time. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting here. And what's the message? Heart Chakra. And underneath we have Creative Project. As the Spirit says, be open for new things. Also, don't close yourself because heart chakra for some of you, you might block in your heart. I don't want anybody right now. I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't want to talk with anybody. Do not close yourself. But let's read it. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. And we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Believe it or not, the angels are there for yourself. And whatever is here crushing around you, actually it's opening you up for something new, better, more beautiful than you ever think is right now but i feel here is just the at the beginning something but let's see 
Leos. What do we have from the universe? What the spirit want to share with you? And what do we need to know? As well, for some of you, you might gone through some things lately, but you have something better in mind. It's like, if that doesn't work, let's switch the field. Whatever the case is. Let's see. Leos, in the month of April 2021. Here you are, magician. Manifesting new things. Absolutely. Especially around the full moon in Aries. New moon in Aries, my apology. It's very, very strong. Knight of Swords. Three of Wands, Moon, Queen of Pentacles, Sun. Here you are. Six of Wands, good job. Moving forward. Moving forward, as situation is changing, it's quite like 180 degrees. You see, we have moon and the sun from what was and what is going to be. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Chariot. Here you go. Movement forward. Love it. Beautiful. So, yes, Leo... There might be a Leo here who could have Virgo cusp in the chart. But it's like I'm practical. I know what is better for me. Whoever here you distance yourself from or they distance themselves, it's for, for your best. It's for your best interest, actually. And I see here you have new love. You have a new person. It's quite strong here. You might have a Cancerian coming towards you. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do see here Cancer strongly. Who you leave behind, Leo, might be an air sign or somebody who have air in their chart, especially their moon. Could have Pisces, could have air, but could be a person here who does have Gemini in their moon because I see Gemini with Knight of Swords and the moon Pisces. Gemini in their moon. Okay. But indeed has air and Pisces in the chart. The other person is it's a water sign or acts like a water because many of you might feel like, well, I don't meet this person, but they're very loving, they're very caring. So that's the water energy from the person, caring, emotional, attached, good energy. But what could be more beautiful than the Six of Wands and the Chariot? Forward movement, good forward movement. It's kind of like after the night comes the day. It's my time. Whatever it is here, I feel here now you, you might feel the green light. I can conquer the world. I can move forward. Also, this person who comes here with this Ace of Cups looks promising to you. And I feel here you did manifest it. King of Cups. Did you manifest a water sign? Did you manifest love into your life? Pisces energy here. I feel here you did. You did manifest this person to come into your life. Now let's see here. What you leave behind. Also, Leo, believe it or not, this person here, they may not agree with your decision. They feel like you you hide things from them. 
this person who you are about to meet or you are manifesting, they might be through your work or you might take a trip and you might meet them. It's pretty new. It's a new person. It's not old energy because the old is here. The new is here. You might leave a, a person here full of secrets. But it's kind of that person is quite insecure. You are quite the opposite. It's like I work towards a new beginning. I'm f focusing on, to, on, on the positive. The other person is only on the negative part. And that's the personalities between you two. It's like I'm always the positive. They are always quite the opposite. And that's the thing here is like with this fork in the road, I I don't want to stay out there. Also, the creative project here might be this new person. I see them very full of energy, very loving, very outgoing. And that might be even the person you're looking for, marriage or commitment. Okay. I feel here, especially for those Leos who done some energy work, who did practice the law of attraction, gotta have the confidence to take the lead towards this. Because I feel here there's a new person, better one for you. But let's do some clarifications here, loves. Why this person you leave behind, they keep tabs on you. Knight of Swords. King of Swords. Oof. Quite rough. Strength. They feel like they, if, if they will act this way, they will get you back. Or that's how they felt, you know. It's like the passive-aggressive energy here. But I don't feel worked for you too much, that. It's like they, they, they felt like if they will act the way they did and detaching from you, they, they hope that that will work. Moon energy. Hermit. Now they they are looking into that behavior and feel like, well, maybe that's not the the, the only thing. Five of Cups. They quite regretting probably whatever they've done here because you know. Acting with the kindness, be in your kind way, show your kind way. It's a win energy. Showing the coldness and feel like if I'll go away, that person will come to me. It's kind of like you, you will cut the grass and you put, you know, heat and you feel like the, 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 the grass will grow. That's not possible. The grass will turn yellowish and will die. And I feel here that's kind of a thing here. And now this person feels like, are my actions were right or not? And I feel here now they, they feel like whatever I've done was not quite favorable to me. And indeed here, that, that was the, the thing. It's like turning the back was not the resolution to this. Because I feel here Leo was, was very much like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And regeneration is kind of like I am done, I'm not done, I'm I'm getting, and I'm happy that the sun came and not the tower in this case, because I feel here, 
when the sun is, the regeneration already happened. It's like I'm trying to focus on the good and on the movement. When the tower comes, it's more likely, whoa, it's like still that energy that it's still happening now. With the sun, it's like, okay, that happened already. Let's focus on the move. And yeah, whoever you are dealing here, that's quite a thing. Let's see here, Nine of Cups, why you're here. Five of Wands. It's like this person, this new person, they are aware that there might be other people, you know, requesting your attention or want to be with you. It's like they are conscious that there are others out there. But I feel here, even they are aware that might not be the good time or there might be other people in your life. They feel like, okay, whatever you deal, anyway, let me, let me try. Or let's try, let me try my luck. Ace of Pentacles right here. Also, this water sign, they might be already into your life. And they could wait for you to, to end whatever you have here. It's like they... They waited for their opportunity. And now they see the green light to go forward. So indeed here, whoever I'm speaking here, well, Leo, whoever Leo I'm speaking here, I don't see you single for a long time. Even right now you might be single. Mind your business here trying to do your best but I feel here you are in the spotlight here so yes loves I'm feeling here I'm speaking with a Leo who indeed has it's like you are like a sticker kind of you are not that kind of person you will stay for too long single at least who I'm talking right now because for some sometimes you know that's how it is as I always said like many times when we are not focusing on the relationship especially that's coming but let's see loves who are those zodiac signs you are potentially dealing and if you want to come with me in the extended and see more about it I do invite all of you also, in the extended, we loves, we're looking to the four zodiac signs connected with you, one way or another. And we're looking what's the energy between you two right now. What are you feeling towards them, what they are feeling towards you, and the potential for the future between you two, of course. Let's see, loves. I have all the zodiacs here, and let's see. We have a Taurus. We have a Pisces. We have a Sagittarius. And we have a Gemini. Wow. We have earth, water, air, and fire. So, Leos, if you deal with any of this zodiac science, we'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, I wish you a month full of beautiful manifestations, beautiful projects, and of course, beautiful blessings and abundance. See you next time, loves. 
many blessings and namaste.